Hello and welcome to a new video on cryptography for everybody. In today's video, we will have a look at the Mexican Army Cipher Disk. I was pointed to this device by a viewer of this channel and I thought it's a quite interesting cipher device and we should have it in Crypto 2. So I implemented it. And additionally to implementing it in Crypto 2, I also created a model of the device that you can actually use to encrypt and decrypt messages. And if you're interested in also building your own Mexican Army cipher disk, I will put a link below this video where you can download my template. I created it with PowerPoint. Then you can print it out yourself and also assemble it yourself. And in this video, we will have a look at the device, how it works, how secure it was, and we will have a look at Crypto 2 and its implementation. I structured the video into four different parts. In the first part, we will have a small look at the history of the Mexican Army Cipher Disk. Then we will see how the Mexican Army Cipher Disk works. After that, we will have a brief look at the crypt analysis of the Mexican Army Cipher Disk. And finally, we will do it in Crypto 2, meaning we will encrypt and decrypt using the Cipher Disk, and we will also break it using Crypto 2. The Mexican Army Cipher Disk was used by the Mexican Constitutionalists, which was the third faction in the Mexican Revolution, which was from 1910 to 1920. On the right side, you can see Mexican Constitutionalist soldiers. This is a picture from Wikipedia. And the cipher was probably used in the time period of 1913 to 1917. And David Kahn shows an example of the cipher in his famous book, The Codebreakers, on page 322. And here you can see the key for messages between Saltillo and Juarez, which Kahn shows in his book. And Colonel Parker Hitt, who you probably also know because he's a famous cryptologist, solved this cipher and many like it, according to David Kahn in The Codebreakers. And another interesting book where you can find an encrypted message encrypted using the Mexican Army cipher disk is in Helen Fushi Gaines famous book and you can find there a cipher text which was encrypted using the Mexican Army cipher disk but using a different alphabet than we use here in the video and in Crypto 2 but you can break the message with the homophonic substitution analyzer of Crypto 2. And here on the right side, you can see Colonel Parker hit. This image is also from the Wikipedia. How does the Mexican Army Cipher Disk work? You can see the Mexican Army Cipher Disk here on the right side. And it consists of five disks. You have an outer disk that contains the Latin alphabet from A to Z. And then you have four inner disks that contain two digit numbers. For instance, from 0, 01 to 26, from 27 to 52, from 53 to 78, and from 79 to 00, zero and the 00, zero here is 100. And the key of the cipher disk is the rotation of the four inner disks, and the key can be described in two different ways. The first way is to show the digit groups below A. For instance, 01, 27, 53, 79. As you can see here, 01, 27, 53, 79. So when you rotate these disks, you always give the digit groups or the numbers below A. That's the first way to describe the key. And they also used a different way, which is with four Latin letters. And each letter is the one above the first digit group of the disk. For instance, in this example, the first disk here, the zero one, that is the beginning of the disk, is rotated below A. So we give as a first element A. If you would have the zero one, for instance, below the H, then we would give the H as an example here. And with the second disk, it's the same. The beginning of the disk is the 27, the lowest number on the disk, it's below A. So our second element is A. With the third disk, the first, um, the start of the disk is 53, this is also below A, and the 79 is also the start of the disk, so this is also below A. So in this example, the key is also A, 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 and A. And to encrypt a letter, we use one of the four or three homophones below the corresponding letters. As we can see here, we have four missing homophones, since after 00, there are no two-digit groups left. 
which we could have used here. And an example encryption, for instance, of Hello World is 8631649067491964604. How does this work? We have a look at our first letter, the H. We go to the H here and we select one of the homophones, for instance, the 86. Then we go to the E here. We have a look at the disk. Where is the E? Here is the E. And then we have, for instance, chosen 31 and we write 31 and so on and so forth. And of course, for decryption, we always take two digits, for instance, the 86 here. We have to search for 86 on our disk. We find the 86 here. Then we know this has to be an H. So it's not very difficult to be used. Now let's have a look at the crypt analysis of the Mexican Army Cypher disk. And at first we have a look at the key space size. And to be honest, the key space size is not very big. The first three disks each can be in one of 26 different positions. You can rotate the first three disks. And the fourth disk can be in one of only 22 positions. Remember, four positions of the disk are left blank, so you can't rotate it to these positions. So the total key space size is 26 multiplied 26 multiplied 26 multiplied 22. And this is a total of 386,672 keys. This is very, very small. And you will see that we can easily brute force this with Crypto2. So the cipher is very weak. And you can even break it by hand because we know which numbers of the disks belong together. For instance, the first 26 numbers, 0, 1 to 26 on the first disk, have to be different because these are all below different letters. Same is for the next 26 numbers, so numbers 27 to 52 have to be different, 53 to 78 have to be different, and 78 to 00, 0 have to be different. And that means that, for instance, 0, 01 and 02 cannot be at the same time used for E. And 27 and 28, for instance, can't be used. So an E has to uh, be in these, uh, in these numbers here, in these numbers here, in these numbers here, and in these numbers here. So to break the cipher by hand, we can search for the most frequent letter in each of these uh, set of numbers, and this should be the E. And then we just rotate the disks to the corresponding position of the E. and then we should easily be able to decipher our message. Now that we know how the Mexican Army cipher disk works and that it is not a very powerful or strong cipher, let's encrypt and decrypt with the Mexican Army cipher disk in Crypto2 as well as break it in Crypto2 using the new components. I'm here now in Crypto2 in the start center. And as you can see, I use the current developer build but the Mexican Army Cypher disk, as well as the analyzer, will be soon available in the nightly builds of Crypto2 also. And to find the Mexican Army Cypher disk, you go to the template section here and you can just search for Mexican. Then you have two templates, the Mexican Army Cypher disk template and the brute force attack on the Mexican Army Cypher disk. Let's first have a look at the Mexican Army Cypher disk template by double clicking it. Here you have the template. You can also see my self-made um, cipher disk here. And you can see two times a new component, the Mexican Army cipher disk component. And this component is able to encrypt and decrypt using yeah, the Mexican Army cipher disk. You can enter text here, for instance, hello world. This is a test of the Mexican Army cipher disk. And you can add a key here. And when we press play, we get the encryption here and the decryption here. And as you can see, it ignores letters or symbols that are not part of the Latin alphabet. But you can change this. For instance, you could also remove the letters that you don't want by just setting unknown symbol handling to remove. And let's press play again. And then we have here our cipher text and we have our decrypted plain text. We could also just use a text here, for instance, N, I, L, S. And you can separate or you have to separate each element of the key, for instance, using a comma, a full stop, a dash, you can use a space. So I implemented or we implemented different um, symbols to separate the key elements. Now we use Niels for encrypting the ciphertext and here we have our ciphertext. 
Now let's just copy it and let's try to break it. To break it, we go back to the start center and we open the brute force attack on the Mexican army cipher disk. Then we paste our cipher text into that cipher text, uh, text input here. And let's have a look at the component. In the settings, you can change, of course, the language you want to analyze. In our case, we know it's English. Then you can change the type of engrams that should be used during the brute force attack. For instance, unigrams, bigrams, trigrams, tetragrams, and pentagrams. And you can use or change the key format, but I will just let it di be digits right now. Then we press play. And the component then searches through the complete key space. It tests all the rotations of the disks. It decrypts our ciphertext using each of the rotations. And then it rates it using the cost function. In our case, um, English pentagrams. And here you can see we have a cost value of 5.3 million. This is the highest cost value. And as you can also see, this is our Plain text here, hello world, this is a test of the Mexican army cipher disk. But if you want to get the original um, Latin alphabet key, so um, that was Niels in our case here, my name, you can just change the key format here to Latin letters. And then instead of using digits as keys, it uses the Latin letters. And now we should see in about 10 seconds, it can search through the complete key space. So it's a very weak cipher. And you can see that the key that was used to encrypt this text was actually Niels. And you can also see that we only have 47 characters here. So you can break really short cipher texts using this component. Yeah, and this is everything that I wanted to show you in this short video. I have shown you how you can encrypt and decrypt using the Mexican Army cipher disk. I also introduced how the cipher works and the keyspace size. And I also have shown you how you can perform a brute force attack in Crypto 2 on the Mexican Army cipher disk. Yeah, and as I said, this is everything I wanted to show you. I hope you liked what you see. If yes, please give a thumbs up. And also, if you did not yet subscribe to this channel, please do so. This really helps us to grow the channel and to also make Crypto 2 more popular. Also, hit the bell icon to be notified when I upload new videos. So, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.